Don't judge me, I'm on my Sam Rothstein tip. Don't judge my big ass bumblebee glasses. I'm feeling some type of vintage vibe. Listen, I got the Noir Muffin, not the blue joint that's slightly disappointing me, but the Urban Man Elixir. Now, Elixir. Judging by that blue joint, I'm already feeling like that the Club de Nuit lineup really just went designer. So if I'm thinking Elixir, I already kind of have like a preconceived notion of what it potentially is just by the word elixir and I think we all share that same type of vibe. Yeah, so let's roll my motherfucking music to see if Urban Man Elixir is another designer piece of shit. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Has anybody else seen La Calle 42 Dominican dances that they've been doing lately and doing all their <laughs> What is going on with the youth in Latin America lately? It's driving me crazy. Club de Nuit Urban Man Elixir. Now, I don't remember the other one being, I thought the other one was just Urban Man. I don't know if it was Club de Nuit Urban Man also. I don't remember. I remember smelling Urban Man and being slightly underwhelmed by the scent. Not that these joints are bad, and I hope it doesn't come across that way. Really, what it is is disappointing. Like, I know what our moth can do. They can pull fire, but they choose to do dumb shit. Like, with the other blue fragrance, it's good. It's not bad, but it's not what I wanted. And it's not be being snobbish or nothing like that, but why would you go for something that is like moderately expensive? If you're gonna clone, Go for expensive, fam. Like, that's just my shit. So I cop this joint, and truth be told, I cop the other ones too. But when I saw Elixir, I'm like, yo, they're gonna go after Dior. Like, if the other one was truly blue to Chanel EDT, then maybe this one is like Dior Sauvage Elixir. That's the only thing that comes to my mind, and honestly, I think everybody would feel the same way. I didn't look up any notes. I don't know anything about it. Here's the presentation of the bottle. It looks like just a transparent Club de Nuit joint, only it's, you know, Urban Man Elixir on it. So let's just jump right into this shit. I don't wanna make this too long and drawn out. I just wanna see what they doing here. I don't know if it is Dior, maybe they just did one Blue de Chanel-ish, or maybe it's not Blue de Chanel. I mean, that's what it shot out to me as far as EDT possibly, but let's see what this joint is, and let's see if it's Dior or if it's something completely different and I'm gonna be blown out of the water, which, listen, that's what I'm hoping for. Dior. Ay, Dior. Yeah, it's Dior Sauvage. I don't know if it's the elixir though. This one is good. I'm getting goose pimples. Not gonna cap you. It is good. I don't think it's elixir. Is it? Let me get elixir. All right, so just in case, I'm bringing elixir and I'm bringing parfum. I just wanna see, because it's absolutely Dior Sauvage, but I the elixir has that, like, that coffee-ish type vibe that I get from it. And I'm not getting it from that one. No. No. Yeah, no, it's not it's not the elixir. Now I'm gonna check the parfum version real quick. Because it's not the elixir. It's got it's got Dior. Mmm. Dior Sauvage Parfum. Urban Man Elixir. Yeah, it's not the Parfum version either. Maybe they're just going straight EDTs across the board. I don't have any EDTs. I don't have Blue de Chanel EDT. I don't have Dior Sauvage EDT anymore. Maybe they're just all EDT clones. Why though? Like they're not that, that expensive. Here's my thought process. Is the scent good? If we're gonna go that route, yeah, it's good. It gave me goose pimples. I like it. I don't think it's bad at all. It's playful, it's fun, it's youthful. It allows a younger demographic to jump to that, what I assume is Dior EDT bandwagon without spending bread. It's like 42 bucks or some bullshit like that. I think it's a good fragrance. I don't think it's a bad fragrance. I don't find it mind blowing. I think it's just like the iconic. I think it's probably in that hybridish space, like EDT Dior Sauvage hybrid. Is the scent good? Yes. Do I understand why they did that? Making it more affordable? Okay. But it does have a twist, so it is a hybrid in their own right. This is me being Switzerland, battling with my own brain. This is the type of shit that I go through on a daily basis, so I'm just doing it in front of a camera. I like the fragrance, I don't think it's bad. Is it 40 bucks worth? Yeah, but it's definitely Dior Sauvage. It's gotta be EDT. 
with a little twist, just like that iconic blue. See, the way to think about it with the iconic blue, and I'm trying to process it in my brain right now, is that the iconic blue joint for Chanel, to get Chanel on the secondary market is it's a super movie, like you can't. I believe they had like a whole lawsuit that you can't get them on the gray market, that's why you barely see them joints. I believe that was the case. So I kinda understand that logic. It's just me being a hater, bro. I wanted more niche shit. I wanted to branch out to other niche joints and do it. This one is good. I find it maybe a little bit more on the mass appeal playfulness than the iconic blue, believe it or not. Not bad. For 40 bucks, I'll give it half a ball spray. I'm not gonna be a full-blown hater. It's really not bad. It gave me the pimples. It gave me the goose pimples, fam. Like, how am I gonna be mad at something that gave me the goose pimples? It's youthful, it's fun, it's party vibes, it's 40 stones. I don't know what the performance is. It's definitely got a nice sillage bubble, I'll give it that. I don't get much of the elixir component of it. But maybe they're going for elixir as far as stronger performing. I think they were possibly leaning for that aspect. It's not bad. It's definitely not a bad fragrance. If you got a bunch of Dior's already, you don't need this joint. But if you just wanna have like an easy gym going scent, this shit ain't bad. I find it a little bit more interesting than one I remember urban man being which is not much to be honest with you so it shit ain't bad it's definitely not bad it's not a bad fragrance it gave me the goose pimples just now we know that the whole lineup is going to be designer joints so when the other two come in now my brain already registered that all these joints are going to be designer so let's see what they're going for are they going for like the mass appeal designer lineup so we got blue to chanel we got dior sauvage who are we going to be aqua aqua de geo like profumo or are they going throwback ysl are they gonna hit real throwback like Fahrenheit? Like what are they gonna do, Givenchy? Oh, maybe? No, they already did Dior. So they wouldn't go Dior, like if they did like Dior own parfum, that should be lit. That would have been a smarter move for sure. So now I'm curious to see where the other ones are gonna go. Iconic, not bad at all. The Urban, uh, Urban Man Elixir, not bad at all. Kinda like it a little bit better on the fun aspect. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think the other two fragrances are gonna be? I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches.